What all things did we discuss in the last class? Uh, we discussed about what is fashion, trends, styles, and the three movements of fashion and the cycles. Uh, we just briefly introduced, we just briefly discussed about different theories related to fashion. We talked about fashion cycle. We, uh, we also discussed about different fashion terminologies, right? Hmm. We talked about different fashion terminologies. Then what all did we discuss? Yes, the factors influencing fashion. We talked about factors influencing fashion also, right? Hmm? Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, factors influencing fashion. What are they? What all are the fashion, factors influencing fashion? Different factors influencing fashion. Yes? Psychological factors. Psychological, Psychological factors. factors. Hmm. Economical factors. Sorry. Economical factors. Economical factors. Social factors. Geographical factors. Right. Political factors. And the list goes on. So dominating factors are celebrities. Economic factors, psychological factors, social factors, cultural factors, political events and personalities, historical inspirations, geographical factors, and information technology. All these things are, which exist around us, all these factors, all these things which exist around us, it somehow influences uh, influence us, influence the way we dress, influence the way we carry ourselves, right? It somehow influences, right? Yes. So these all are the factors that influence clothing. So if we are sitting idle without any job, sitting home jobless, then we will just cut short our expenditure, right? So we will not take the risk to spend all our parents' money before uh, 21 or before completing the college studies. It was quite okay, but now it's not like hmm, they, they are not going to save anything. But still, we do have this burden inside our heart, right? No, how long I'm going to depend on my parents, right? So just like that. So that also affects, right? So we will just decide I'm, I'm going to wear whatever is there in my closet for this. Right now, I'm not going to buy anything new, right? So that do affects what? Clothing. The way we dress, the way we carry ourselves, the accessories we use, the mobile we use, the car we use, the scooter we use, whatever it is. Then sometimes we will just decide to walk, right? Yeah, so factors, all the factors, all the elements that is that exist around us, all influence us in one way or another, right? What we eat, what we wear, how we look, everything. So everything, every element that is out there does matter. Yes. So art design and craft. What does it mean by art? What, okay, not, that is not the question. What is the difference between art and design? What is the difference between art and design? That is the question. What is the difference between art and design? Not all artists can be a good designer. What is the difference between art and design? Art includes many activities. Design also includes many activities. It includes drawing, it includes painting, sketching, 
constructing, crafting, whatever it is, just includes a lot of things. Yes. Dominic, this is plus one fashion studies class. So what is the difference between art and design? Are they both same or are they different? Art. So just tell me whatever that comes into your mind when I say art. Just tell me whatever that comes into your mind when I say art. It can be an artist or it can be an artwork. Can be anything, whatever, whatever that comes into your mind when I say art. Yes, Nimita? Lakshmi? Drawings, paintings. Drawing, paintings? Yes. Art? Yes. Pottery. Hmm? Pottery? Yes. Blue pottery. Jaipur blue pottery. It's an exotic work. This is one of the handicraft techniques that belongs to India. Pottery. Yes. Embroidery. That is also an artwork, right? Hmm? The Kashmiri shawls, embroidered Kashmiri shawls, the Rajasthani mirror works, all of them are artworks, right? And they are also designs. Okay. Okay. Now let me just ask you one question. Is this an artwork? Is this an artwork? Design. It's a design, yes. It's a design, but a design can also be an artwork. Okay. A design can also be an artwork, can be used as an artwork. Okay, but what about an art? It needs to undergo certain changes to become a design. Okay, so now a design is basically an answer or a solution to a particular question or problem. So just like how we find the value of X in maths. Just like how it is. So X is the design actually. So we will be having a question or a problem at the very beginning. And while solving, while researching, after doing all this process, we will end up with a value. That is what design is. So we will be having a lot of connecting things, right? We will be putting, applying equations like a plus b all square and all. Hmm. We will be having the value of y and all. So from that, we will just derive, right? We will, at the end, we will get the value for x. So just like that, a lot of existing designs will be there. So we and a problem will be there. Hmm? So we will go, we will go study all those existing designs. We will find, we will try to find out what the problem actually is. Why the consumer segments or why the target market is not happy with the already available products. So we will do all these studies. 
then we will find out yes this is what it is this is what it lacks and this is what i should incorporate in my product hmm okay so i want something cute i want something cute something colorful something attractive i showed you one image once right a coffee cup hmm so what was the problem there wrong design right yes you're supposed to drink you're not supposed to keep that there in the shock case or somewhere right hmm? yes and it was unsuitable for use so that was the reason so that was a bad design right hmm? so design is actually one with a solution we can and it is not always about aesthetics it is a, actually it can be a mixture of functionality and aesthetics of course just because we want to wear clothing we are not going to go and pick something right we will be wandering here and there we will be going to this shop that shop everywhere and finally we might end up buying something or we may not right that's how it is so aesthetics do matter but what if the garment is all good beautiful piece just splendid what if there is no neck hall in it functionality is not there you are supposed to wear it right your head is supposed to pass through it right what are you going to do with that wonderful splendid piece of clothing it's not a cloth at all it's just a piece of fabric uh, multiple piece of fabric just joined together right so designs are always basically a combination of aesthetics and functionality whereas artworks are all about aesthetics right we will not hang a piece of clothing instead of a painting right they're not going to hang it there hmm painting pottery all these things are part of art books hmm all these are part of art books so this is a major difference between art and design okay this is a major difference between art and design so what is word what does the word craft means now we know what is art we know what uh, design means what about craft what about craft making things by hand yes making things by hand so hand embroidery is a craft hand weaving is a craft pottery making using hand it's a craft weaving is a craft hand sewing is a craft mat making carpet making all these are crafts machine made carpets are also there but all these are crafts jewelry making is also a craft so now machine made jewelries are also available out there so when we go to a jeweler it's a machine cut one the designs are precise so you are supposed to pay more for it right that is how they loot us yes so hand craft or craft the so craft is basically related to sustainability okay you might have heard about the word sustainability right eco friendly or envion friendly you can just call it sustainability mm -hmm. 
And there are uh, 17 factors or something that is really SDGs, which is related to sustainability. And you're supposed to find which problem you're facing, which problem you're supposed to overcome, which, of, which one of the sustainability issue is there in that particular target market or with that particular product. So you're supposed to overcome that. So we don't have to discuss all those SDGs and all. So sustainability. Sustainability is related to handicraft only. So once when I was doing my UG, I went to a cluster, craft cluster. Okay. Craft cluster, one of the craft clusters. Uh, so they were making these beautiful portraits and landscapes using straw. You know, wood straw, that not that straw, <laughs> which using which we drink all those milkshakes and all that, not that one. Um, basically, white color. That's hmm. so a straw art. So it was a craft cluster in, I don't remember the place. Okay. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so they were using these view, they were making really beautiful things out of these straws. And they used this gum, which is extracted from this particular tree, to stick these things onto it. But they stick these uh, straws onto a black fabric, OK? So for the background, they use a black fabric. That black fabric is not a cotton one. OK, so it's a mixed one. Sustainability gone. Hmm? Sustainability gone. And the material that they use to stick this particular black fabric onto a cardboard piece is fevicol. Again, sustainable, sustainability gone. So when it comes to sustainability, you're supposed to use everything that is natural, 100% organic. Craft is also like that. So uh, in the ancient period, fevicol was in there, right? Hmm? Fevicol was in there. Fevicol, super glue, M seal, all those stuff just came into picture in this maybe 1900s or something. 1990s or 2000s during that period, right? It wasn't there before. Hmm? So that is not the using uh, fevicol, super glue, MCL, and all those synthetic materials during craft procedure is in the authentic way to do that. So whenever you are performing, whenever you are doing the sustainable craft practices, or whenever you are practicing a craft activity, you're supposed to follow the methods and rules completely authentic, so complete authentic rules, rules and steps. So when once when I went to Mysore once, uh, I did a study on these, um, you know, so what I did a study was on metal imposing works. Okay, metal imposing, metal engraving and all. And we went to Mysore, uh, Mysore Palace Ganjifa cards, I guess, that's what it called. Ganjifa cards, you can search it in the internet. So it was basically uh, used for card games, just like the playing cards, just like you know and all. Hmm? You know, you know, right? So it was just something like that only, Ganjifa cards. It was part of a card game. But it, uh, that particular cards used to have this beautiful drawings of different gods and goddesses on it. Uh, they used, um, in the ancient period, they used pure gold and pure natural dyes to create those artworks, to create those cards. No one knows how to play it. So we went met this lady uh, who, is now, um, who is now the only one who knows how to create Ganchifa cards. Okay. So she claims that she uses pure leather. Hmm? So now as the usage of 
leather is prohibited she use ivory cards okay the normal thicker chart papers okay ivory cards and what she claims is that she uses 100% natural dyes she's like i go and collect these dyes i i make it like this i mix it with that and that's how i prepare the colors for this particular ganchi for making this ganchi for cards and what we got to see there was her room her working her office room we weren't allowed there but we just peeked in peeked <laughs> through the gap and we got to see a lot of fabric acrylic those acrylic paints right those bottle acrylic paints were huge acrylic paint bottles were arranged all over her office room okay she's like a uh, ganchi fa car uh, with uh, with this much size okay hmm? she was costing around uh, charging around 2500 rupees for that claiming that she used natural dyes and gold powders in it <laughs> okay so that's how it is so you are not supposed to do all those stuff and she is like mm, i am doing this and that and this is how i make the dyes and all i look look deeply into those things that golden thing it's not golden paint it's gold it's pure gold and all that's why it's shining and we couldn't find any shining over there hmm? so that's how people are so craft so ganji for card what i said right now ganjif ganjifa card is also part of our indian culture and it is one of the craft products hmm? Hmm? and the metal embossing or metal inlay metal engraving all these are also part of craft only the gold chain that we are wearing it might be a, a machine made one i don't know but some of the pieces can be a hand made one so those are also a craft practice only sometimes we do hand embroidery that is also craft right hmm a craft yes now fashion terminologies fashion terminologies pot kutyo high end fashion which is made out customized high end fashion which is made up, made out of the finest raw materials right hmm? or finest materials that is what a hot couture fashion is so what is a pratha potter ready to wear ready to wear that is also high end ready to wear collection hmm so we cannot call those reliance trends and uh, h&m and all pretty potter <laughs> okay uh, so high end ready to wear collection okay so can you uh, give me a few examples for a pretty potter brand alan so leave <laughs> is that what you said nimita <laughs> no Gucci, Gucci is a Prada Porta brand. Okay, Louis Vuitton is a Prada Porta uh, brand. Chanel is also having a Prada Porta collection. Dior is also having a Prada Porta collection. Versace is also having a Prada Porta collection. Aldra, Nestle, Nehal, and Elise, please switch on your videos. Hmm? Okay. So all these brands do have this Prada Porta collection, hmm. and many others. Yes, of course. So these are Prada Porta collection. So this was Saatchi, Ralph Russo, Ralph Lauren, Saint Laurent, and all these brands, all these luxurious brands, are famous for their haute couture works. Also, right? Hmm. Okay, Nestle. Uh, these brands are very famous for their hot couture collection so these movie stars these bollywood celebrities bollywood celebrities also they just they look stunning 
in this mid color red carpet and all those uh, award shows and all they just appear in the in these luxurious outfits or hot couture outfits maybe hmm? okay when it comes to metcala and all most of them are like hot couture only right hmm. so how they get how these designers whether it is versace whether it is chanel whether it is dia whoever it's saint laurent or whoever it is from where do they get all these money to create such an extraordinary extravagant high quality piece so you might have seen those garments uh, in which those models and uh, film stars celebrities all these people appeared in the latest met gala right so kendall jenner was wearing something right so or you might have seen the photo shoot also which is, which was in complete darkness where the dress was completely shiny just it kind of uh, creates a feeling like how the stars shine when we look at the sky at night during night time right so it kind of create that kind of mood that's how i felt okay that's how i felt when i uh, when i get to see that particular photo shoot because the entire dress was shining and the, and kendall was no word seen right it was all about the garment yes hmm? so from where do they get the money for creating such expensive pieces maybe the designer might have used diamonds in that entire garment i don't know that was one of the reasons not one of the reason so if you check most of the hot couture designers they are also having pretta potter line so from through these pretta potter lines utilizing the earnings of these pretta potter lines they create these uh, hot couture pieces so that's how they make money or funds that's how they arrange funds for making hot couture pieces so if you check dia chanel all these brands all these uh, uh, brands are also having this luxury pretta potter line where they sell bags jackets t-shirts trousers handbags belts perfume everything right so that's a pretta potter line and that's by selling all these small small stuff hmm, they make money for creating that one piece okay so we now we know what is pretta potter now we know what is hot couture now we also know how the designer gets all those funds to create those hot couture pieces right what about avant garde basically the designer is trying to predict the future they are called the futuristic design hmm? thinking ahead of time that is what basically avant garde is okay what about collection what does the term collection means when we say when we look around it will be like it's a spring summer collection that particular garment belongs to uh, sabia sachi spring summer collection or chanel spring summer collection and that one uh, on september 22nd this particular designer is going to launch his or her autumn winter collection 2022 so that is what basically collection is gaya please watch on your videos so uh i was going to say gaya <laughs> so collection is basically a set of garments a group of garments so that is what a collection is which belongs to a specific season okay hmm? so that is what a collection a collection can consist of five garments 15 garments 25 garments maybe 75 85 garments also okay so 
a set of garments hmm? which represent a particular season so that is what collection is okay so what does mean by trend watching what does mean by trend watching Trend watching. Knowing what's the next trend. Yes, knowing what is going to happen next, right? Hmm. So this is something what one of my faculties told me when we were learning design. So people. Okay, so two designers, or we can just say two people, they went to a particular place. Okay, or we can call it a particular island. Hmm? So none of the people there, none of the people living there knows what a shoe is. And none of them are wearing one. Okay, it's not like none of them know what a shoe is. None of them were wearing one. Okay. So two designers went to a went to the same island and they go to see that none of the people living in that particular island is wearing a shoe. All of them are either barefoot or is wearing a chapel. Hmm? Maybe a flip-flop, we can call it. Hmm? So one just left the island saying, none of them are wearing one. There is no scope for me to start a shoe shop here because none of them are going to buy. Okay. At the same time, the second man stayed back in the island because he saw opportunity there. Okay. So no one is selling a shoe there, right? No one is selling a shoe there. I can be the first one to do so. Hmm? It, it can be a huge success. So he saw opportunity there. Right. Difference in perspective. Right. So bandwagon effect. Uh, no, not bandwagon effect. Friend watching is basically the process of identifying future trends. Identifying future trends. So before... Most of the people in Kerala, in India, were illiterate, right? And if we take India as a whole nation, most of the Malayalis, highest literacy rate, Kerala is having the highest literacy rate, right? Yes, Kerala is having the highest literacy rate. Hmm? So once we were in literate, but now we are having the highest literacy rate. So who might have thought starting a school in Kerala will be successful, right? <laughs> yes. Hmm? Yeah. So just like that. So trend watching is basically the process of identifying future trends. Bandwagon effect or coat tail effect. What does mean by bandwagon effect or coat tail effect? Bandwagon effect or coat tail effect. Oh my God, she is writing yes for yes as an answer for this question. So I'm I'm also going to write yes, even though you have a question in your in your head. Like it's like no. From what I based on what I read in the textbook, it uh, it it should be no. But she she is good at it. She is writing no. Uh, she is writing yes. So I, I I'm also going to write yes. That is bandwagon effect. Just because the other person is doing that, he also wants to do it. Okay. 
that is what we band vegan effect so just because majority of the po population or majority of the people who are using instagram is behind dieting hitting gym and all i'm go i want to more sure i'm going to gym no no other words amma i'm going to gym just to make it ready okay so that is what band vegan effect is okay so that is what band vegan effect is now now we know hot couture what is mean by hot couture we know pretzel butter we know avant garde we also know trend watching band vegan we also know what is mean by a trend style and all right hmm? so what if i ask you guys what is trending right now what is trending right now at this present time according to you what is trending right now what is trending right now of course dieting and gymming is trending of course it is now yes bts is trending of course bts yes bts is trending right now so bts them attending the un thing and all they are completely everywhere south even if korea pride yes south korea pride them going with the you know president they wearing the louis vuitton garment and all right now they became the ambassador of louis vuitton so all these are trending right now so bts is like everywhere if you take fawn then they are saying buy samsung it's all good right and if we go to clothing for casual you are having fila and if you want something luxurious then there is louis vuitton right so they are basically everywhere hmm? so bts is trending right now yes so that is a trend right so something which is in hype at this particular period of time that is what a trend is okay now we will just stop this session